Those were the bells from St Lawrence's Church in Toaster. This is BBC Radio 4. Now, here's Mark Coles with this week's Profile. Hi, is that Glenn O'Callaghan from O'Callaghan Carpets? That's me. Hi, it's Mark Coles here from Radio 4. I'm calling about Aidan Turner. I think his mum used to work with you. Yeah, she, I worked with her many years ago in a carpet store and she then later on when I went out on my own, she did my bookkeeping. And you know now that her son is a, a, a big TV star, Ross Poldark. Yeah, I'm shocked. I remember him. And I know that guy's a big hit with all the ladies and uh, had no idea it was Eileen's son. He's just a regular kid. Nothing stood out about him at all. Yes, this week we're profiling Irish actor Aidan Turner, star of BBC TV's Poldark. Captain Ross Poldark to you and me. How was the war, sir? As any war, man. A waste of good men. An 18th century British Army officer who, returning from fighting in the American Civil War, rips off his shirt to harvest a field with a scythe and sends the ratings, not to mention a few hearts, soaring. I wish Aidan Turner would stop taking his shirt off, said no woman ever. My wife is traumatised by some of the scenes in which Aidan Turner kept his shirt on. I just want to marry Aidan Turner. Is that too much to ask for? Not since Colin Firth in Pride and Prejudice as a romantic lead been so lusted after. I think he is the new Mr Darcy, actually. I mean, I've just been answering emails this morning about more scything stories, and actually, will scything become the next big fitness craze? An average 8 million viewers have tuned in to each episode of Poldark. The series ends this weekend, but it's already helped BBC One to its biggest audience share in a decade. People talking about Aidan Turner as a major new star. I can see him being one of the big guys in Hollywood. I think this is only the beginning. So who is he? Where's he come from? And is there more to Aidan Turner than just chest hair, chiselled features and perfect pecs? He was born in Dublin in June 1983, one of two boys to father Pat, an electrician, and his carpet shop accountant mum, Eileen. As a boy, it was ballroom dancing rather than acting that was Aidan Turner's big thing. Tommy Shaughnessy was his dance teacher back then. He was up in the top three places at the national championships and um, he had very good appearance and he had a very attractive young partner and uh, they looked very well on the floor, which always helps. For ten years, he tangoed and cha 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 his way around the Irish ballroom dancing circuit. But when it came to the next step up, trying to two-step his way onto the international scene, his parents said they couldn't afford it and Aidan took his undoubted talents elsewhere instead. And I said to them, well, you, know, you can stay here and work within the Irish circuit, which is a small circuit, or finish dancing and move Aidan into some other activity. And Aidan, Aidan was there. He had a desire to go into acting, uh, which surprised me a little bit because Aidan was always a little bit on the shy side. But he did, and of course the rest is history. He took a part-time class at Dublin's Gaiety School of Acting, then enrolled as a full-time student. His teacher there, now the school's director, was Patrick Sutton. My memory of him was that he had really good manners. Manners maketh the man or the woman, and his manners, I mean, I'm not suggesting that he was an angel or a saint by any means, but he, he just had good manners and a bit of respect, and I'm not at all surprised to see him where he is uh, right now. Hey, you're a very charming man. Thank you, sir. I don't trust charm in a man. No, it speaks of weak character and restless genitals. I can assure you, sir, that I have neither. I've read somewhere that he was something of a tearaway at school. Was he like that at acting college? Oh, running around bottles of vodka and women hanging out of him. Really? Now, he may have been a tearaway at weekends and he may have been a tearaway on his holidays, but, but when he was with us, it was dedicated, it was diligent, it was solid, really solid. He graduated from acting school in 2004 and started out in theatre, Romeo and Juliet, that sort of thing. Then came TV, a guest appearance on The Tudors, followed by a role in Desperate Romantics, a BBC drama about pre-Raphaelite artists. 
In BBC Three's Being Human, he played a vampire trying to wean himself off blood. Do you have any idea how many vampires there are out there? Just trust me on this. If I beat him, if it works, then this whole thing falls apart. His co-star, Jason Watkins, recalls a polite, talented young actor who had begun to realise the merits of working out down the gym. He had started to beef himself up a bit. I mean, I remember doing the fight with him. We did the fight in the third series where he wrestles me across the room and there's this massive fight. <laughs> I thought he was going to rip my head off. Having worked with him in the first series, he's like, he was completely chunked up, you know. And, uh, but, of course, it brought more of a physical threat to the character, so, you know, I do remember that, thinking, yeah, you're really strong now, aren't you? And I, you know, I'm in my mid-40s now, and that hurts. <laughs> After that, there was no stopping him. A movie role as a reluctant werewolf. Here we go. Three, <laughs> two, ah! one, action! Ah! And his big break, cast by director Peter Jackson as a dwarf in his Grammy-nominated Hobbit trilogy. Great, great. Well done, that's fantastic. Aidan Turner playing Killy, the heartthrob of the dwarf world, who tries to chat up an elf called Toriel with a line so bad it made it onto the infamous RottenTomatoes.com website. Aren't you going to search me? I could have anything down my trousers. Or nothing. Then he manned up, bared his chest and walked out onto the Poldark set. The show's first and only choice for the role of Ross, executive producer Karen Thrussell. He's really good at action as well as doing the sort of the love scenes which we saw in The Hobbit and Desperate Romantics. He basically sums up Ross in, in many ways, I think. Of course, if you Google him, all you get is a picture of him half naked holding a scythe. Was that deliberate? You say he's good looking. Has there been an element of... of sexing Paul Dark up? Uh, we knew that we needed somebody that was really good looking. I read the books when I was a teenager and I've always had an image of Ross in my head and Aidan does look a bit like that. It's the dark eyes and the dark hair. And we knew that they, obviously he had to go in for the swim that's in the books and scything, I don't know, top on, top off. That was something that was decided near the time. But we didn't actually know he was going to have such an amazing physique. So um, I think we were all quite amazed when he did actually take his top off and he was just quite as, as fit as he is. I mean, you know, I spent days in the edit looking at it and sort of thinking... Well, you know, this is this looks great. He looks really good. That's really good. But I, I didn't expect it to be quite such a phenomenon. When the BBC sent out publicity pics of his pecs in action, sweating slightly under the Cornish sun, Twitter and the tabloid press went into meltdown. Aidan Turner is so beautiful. Are there any women on the planet who don't lust after Aidan Turner? I'm not going to lie, there's very little I wouldn't do for the chance of a few hours alone with Aidan Turner. James Rampton is TV feature writer for the Independent newspaper. This has become a phenomenon. It's become something that's leapt off the TV pages and made it to the front pages. I mean, many newspapers have run pictures of Aidan Turner as Paul Dark in the famous, now famous picture of him scything um, with no shirt on. I mean, that has almost rivaled uh, Colin Firth as Mr. Darcy emerging from the lake with uh, his shirt clinging to his chest as an icon. But it's his chest, not his acting, isn't it, that people are, <laughs> are, are commenting on? Uh, well, there is that, and I think it, it is slightly demeaning to him as an actor that people are calling him the abtastic Aidan Turner, um, his hair has got its own Twitter account. Um, you can buy action figures of him skinny dipping, all of which does denigrate him a bit as an actor. By God, I could commit murder myself. Will there not be trouble that you broke the jail and helped a prisoner escape? Let there be. I welcome it. He has a great brooding quality. He can communicate a lot without saying very many words. And I think with him, it's that power transmitted through his face that's really captivating people. It's an ability to say a lot without speaking lots of lines. 
really, he can do anything he likes. You know, they could film him reading out the telephone directory, and, and at the moment, people would watch that. I will watch anything he is in. <laughs> anything? Oh, yes, yes, anything. Becky Ashcraft lives in Chicago. She edits an Aidan Turner Facebook page. She also writes Aidan Turner fan fiction online. Lots of it. 25,000 words to date. 50% of her day, she says, is taken up with thinking, watching and writing about her beloved Aidan Turner. I mean, I've even bought Desperate Romantics. He's definitely... Uh, uh, not wearing clothes in, in a good part of it, so that's always a good thing. So what's his appeal? Why has she become so obsessed? He's got a fantastic look and his body is great, but that's not what attracts me to him. It's, it's because he actually seems so shy for somebody who looks like that, and that's more sexy than anything. I mean, everybody I know and chat with, they can watch a video or see a picture of him smiling, and it just makes their day. Is that what you do then? Are you, are you watching an awful lot of him? Um, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I do, and I really don't have a lot of time. I work part-time. I have three kids. I know you're in a committed relationship too. What does your partner make of all of this? Is he, is <laughs> he, he just, jealous? A little bit, I think. But, uh, yeah, he just thinks it's a little bit silly. Off-screen, he's a private person. He likes to keep himself to himself, apparently. But we did manage to find hints of some outside interests. Scrabble, horse riding, badminton, tennis and... Snooker? That was last week's programme, wasn't it? My name's Steve Davis and uh, back in the day I was six times world snooker champion. Sorry Steve, can't fit you in this week either. Well, he definitely loves snooker. I mean, he quite often will go off. You see his eyes light up when he's talking about it and he'll go off across town to do some snooker match. He loves that. According to one newspaper report, he's turned his mum's garage into a pool hall, complete with tables, bar, big screen and surround sound. Sounds like he's made a bob or two along the way. So what's next for Aidan Turner? Poldark producer Karen Thrussell says he will be back. He's signed up for four more years, likely to be more six-pack on show too. As to whether he gets his shirt off, well, it depends if the story serves that because we're not going to do it gratuitously. But I suppose, you know, maybe it could get caught in a thorny bush or something as he rides past. Back at O'Callaghan's carpet shop, owner Glenn O'Callaghan thinks he could go all the way. I reckon he's the next big hit worldwide. Really? I would think so, yeah. What yeah. couldn't you see him going to do? Hollywood. Yeah? I would think so, yeah. You should look at Colin Farrell. He started off in... What was Colin Farrell's uh, show, Carl, originally? He's a megastar now. You can see why the ladies are going for him, can you? Yeah, and I, but I think he has the it factor as well. He has that presence about him. Maybe you could get him to come and help sell the carpets in the <laughs> shop. <laughs> I'm telling everyone about him now. And if he is tempted by bigger and better offers back home or abroad, TV critic James Rampton says there might be an unlikely candidate waiting in the wings, ready to step into his shoes. The Chancellor, George Osborne. He's a fan, yeah, he's a, he's a big telly addict. He's been dieting, exercising of late. Maybe he fancies a go at Ross <laughs> Poldark. <laughs> I, I think there may well be a few complaints if... Aidan Turner were replaced by George Osborne in that role. I feel that at the moment Aidan Turner would be more popular as Ross Poldark. Profile was presented by Mark Coles. The producer was Ben Crichton. After the news, two women who form the theatre company Rash Dash reflect on the nature of their strong friendship in Something Understood. The general election on the BBC. We're bringing you the news as it happens, wherever you happen to be. Every day, BBC News Online is sending out email summaries of the day's key election news. With links to more detailed analysis and the best of the BBC's coverage on TV, radio and online. Election 2015 on the BBC. Making it clear. To register for your daily email, go to bbc.co.uk slash election 2015. BBC News at 6 o'clock on Sunday the 26th of April. This is New